This is the uh, nearly the final steps of uh, setting up your Robocat. So I've got all the um, I've got all the motors plugged in, all the ECs on that. And what uh, what's how it's meant to be on there is basically one, two, and three, and four. And on here, on this side of your CC3D, you'll see you'll see it's saying one to eight or one to six, sorry. And then uh, you can you just basically plug them in order of like the one, two, three, and four. <clears throat> and I've plugged my CC3D to the, my laptop. And as you can see, if I move it, it actually shows me on my laptop that it's uh, the right software. Um, sometimes you have to download uh, different types of uh, um, software. This was the, I think it was the 15.0.2 um, for it to work with the CC3D. <clears throat> and uh, to uh, plug your receiver, your cable, basically what I do is I get to the end where it's got all the, the three stuck together and I, st I start from on the, on the receiver, it works with uh, any receiver, let's see where's the one, channel one, channel one is the bottom one down here, this one here, so I'll do one, two, three and four and five and six and uh, I'll just basically I will follow this up from this end to the up to the from this end to this end. So uh, this is what I mean from following it from one end to the other end, to the, from the top end to the bottom end. Now going on to the final step of um, setting up your uh, CC3D, and as you can see, mine's already connected. I've linked the um, my CC3D to my laptop on there and uh, using the open pilot software and uh, the version I'm using is the 15.0.2 uh, because uh, there's different versions as you can see it's all like yeah, all the gyros working which is good and uh, to set up your CC3D at the top of the uh, screen you've got a, an option tools and it'll say vehicle setup wizard and it'll give you this at the beginning, it'll give you a warning, basically to remove all the prop all the propellers, uh, which I have. Uh, it's recommended you do, just in case something goes wrong. <clears throat> and so I press next. On here, it gives you the option to upgrade it, and uh, I recommend you do because it's uh, it makes uh, your CC3D um, with the new firmware and uh, gives you a bit more stability in the air. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, it'll be flashing. There you are, which is mean it's the uploading the new software to the CC3D. <clears throat> and on there it's uh, recognizing the USB device from the CC3D to the laptop. And uh, once it's connected, these lights should go green because it's uh, it'll be your TX and the RX, so basically your transmitter and your receiver. Um, there you are. And it just basically that means you're connected now. <clears throat> it can detect both your receiver and your, your your transmitter and your receiver and on here it gives you the uh, type of uh, board you've got which is detected at uh, open pilot copter control 3d uh, on this option here the PP PWM option is what we've used here and basically uh, we've connected all the wires from one to six but I only use about five to be honest but you connect six because you might use a six and uh, if you wanted to use, um, if you had a PPM receiver, which I do, but I'm just doing it the long way to just to show you guys how to do it. Um, you click on here, and what the PPM is is instead of using all the wires on the on the receiver, you just use one, and it does everything. But we're using today. We'll use the PWM, and we'll go to next, and it will ask you to choose what type of uh, vehicle you have, and we have a multi rotor. So that. And it's uh, the type of uh, the quad here we have here. It's a quad X, which uh, you can see the option up here. And if you go next, uh, you can. Uh, it's got the what type of uh, ESCs do you have? I've got the uh, Emax uh, Simon K 12 amp ESCs, which uh, they they're quite rapid ESC. So I've chosen the rapid ESC option on the middle, and. Uh, <coughs> And they're just basically telling you the uh, specs you've chosen on there. 
and you go to next and you don't have to calculate well or you can calculate it just calibrate it to be honest but with the CC3D, if you do crash it, uh, you have to basically unplug the battery and plug it back in because what that does, it calibrates the uh, open pilot or the uh, CC3D. And it's done that, so we can go next. On here it go, it gives you some uh, warnings and how to do and what to do. Basically, you shouldn't connect your battery before it asks you to. And when you do connect your battery, make sure your props are removed just for safety precautions. Okay, and then here it says I removed all the propellers on my vehicle. The vehicle is not powered by any external power, so I've got no no uh, ba LiPo battery connected to it, just the uh, USB the USB coming from the laptop. And it's uh, I have confirmed and read the instructions. And I'll press start, and it gives me the option on there to say that uh, I can connect my battery now. <coughs> and uh, we'll go to over here. And I've connected the LiPo. There you <coughs> And it gives you a little tune. It's just basically setting up the ESCs. And then you can now press stop on that. Sometimes the motor power up really quick, sometimes they don't. But that's why it's just safer to remove the. Um... Yeah, it's asking you to remove the battery, but you can, you can actually keep it on the battery. Plug, plugged in and go to next and then the next option is asking it's uh, very important to remove all the propellers and we'll go next because <coughs> what this is it basically tells you what motors which so if you press start so if you press start on there uh, start and then you push this slide this up it'll slide you'll slide the motor and as you can see, it's sliding the wrong one. So I've plugged it in on the wrong side. So there you go. And we'll just see if we're done. And you basically just press next once you've done the motor one. And you test motor two, see that spinning, and you make sure that's spinning in the right direction where it is. And you go to next, you stop there, and you press next. There you go. Once you've set up all your motors and uh, you've seen that they're connected correctly on there. To the, to the uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and what you do is on the vehicle setup you just press next and it will ask you to choose what type of um, vehicle you have you can either choose your own current tuning or you can choose to basically they've got some options down here <coughs> and it gives you the, uh, the weight and the um, like I said, the Mar uh, ZMR two fifties. To be honest, the ZMR two fifty is the best setup, in my opinion. Um, I choose the one with the Mobius, the five hundred and thirty grams. Um, there's one six hundred and thirty that would be, would be better because the Robocat is a slightly heavier than the um, the ZMR two fifty, and it means the motors won't be uh, work too much. So you press next and save. <coughs> and then it gives you the option to set up transmitter wizard. So you basically go through that and it says on there, uh, during this option, the uh, motors will the uh, disarm, will always be disarmed for your safety. <coughs> The beginning of the uh, set, the, tra the transmitter setup wizard will give you this option, and you just press next, and it'll ask you what type of mode you want. Is it acro mode, normal transmitter for fixed wiring or quad, or helicopter? So you want acro mode, which is the quad mode, and you've got mode two, mode one and mode two, mode three and mode four. Basically, mode one is where the the you've got the throttle. And the uh, like the controls like the throttle controls on this side and mode two is where you have the throttle controls on this side 
and as I've got the throttle controls on this side of my control I'm going to choose mode 2 and then in the wizard there you can see um, moving the sticks up and down so you just basically do the same Once you follow the steps, the um, you'll come to the option where basically it will tell you to see if your controls. So basically, if you're moving up, that should be moving down and up, exactly as your control. And on here, see at the moment I'm moving down and it's going up, and I'm moving side to side on the other side. So down is going up and up is going down. So what it is, you just go onto the on here and you just press pitch and the problem is now resolved so you got all the controls working properly and uh, you just press next and next and the option I always put on here is your to the right because your to the right is basically that slide down and that's that's your your and um, I, always, I always use uh, to disarm in about 10 seconds so if you don't uh, if the motor is not activated uh, for the period of 10 seconds it will uh, disarm itself just for the safety and on here you just press save and uh, it's connected it's still connected to my laptop and if I yaw to the right armed. it will just like tell you it's armed and if I yaw to the left it will just disarm because if I throttle it it won't do anything but if I yaw to the right armed. There you are, it's armed, and I'll just throttle. There you are. There you are. You have a working Robocat.